Hi everyone, if you want to know how to make this frank head, keep watching and I'll show you how. Hi everyone, first of all take two balloons and then stick those together with masking tape and use that to form a sort of rough egg shape. Then cover the whole thing in a layer of newspaper so it forms a sort of egg shape like this. Then I added two rolled up tails just to even out the shape a bit because I felt it was too skinny and needed puffing up a bit. Then I covered the whole thing in a bin liner and then once I'd covered that in plaster Paris bandage and left it to dry, I then popped the balloons and removed them out of the nipple. While I was waiting for the plaster Paris bandage to dry, I drew out my nose and mouth shapes onto some cereal box card like this and then cut them out. And as you can see, that's that's me just checking this fit. Then, as you can see, there's two folds along the length of the nose and a flap on either side, which allows me to stick it to the head with some plaster Paris bandage. And in a bit, I'll show you that when the flaps at the bottom are folded together, it creates the squared off end to the nose and makes the nose stick out more 3D, as you can see. So then I use plaster Paris bandage to attach all of this to the rest of the head I've just made. Then I did the same with the mouth. Once it was cut out, I used the bandage to attach it to the head, like so. Then I drew where the eyes were going to go and added two cardboard eyebrows, which I covered in the bandage as well. And then I cut out two cardboard ear shapes, which again I attached using plaster of Paris bandage and then covered the whole thing in the plaster of Paris. As you can see there, they're all attached. Then I used rolled up newspaper to form the shape of the hairline and I covered that in a layer of plaster of Paris bandage. Then used rolled up newspaper to fill in any gaps in the hairline. Then once that was all covered in the ears and everything, I left it to dry, made sure I'd removed all the balloons and everything and that gave me the basic shape of the head as you can see here. And then all you have to do is once you've let the head dry is paint it with acrylic paint and it will look like this. Hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.